Hello everyone, Dr. Mongli here. In this video, I will be explaining role of vitamins in bone health. So there are three vitamins that are mainly participating in bone health and they are vitamin D, vitamin C and vitamin K. So as we all know that vitamin D has got a predominant role in bone health Basically, vitamin D, it is having an activity on osteoblastic cells, osteoblasts, which are involved in bone mineralization process. And then uh, vitamin D will have uh, effect on osteoclasts. So basically, when there is sufficient uh, calcium and phosphate, osteoblastic activity will be increased, bone mineralization process will be going on. And whenever calcium and phosphate level goes down, so osteoclastic activity will be increased. So vitamin D, it mainly participates in maintaining calcium and phosphate, blood calcium and phosphate, and also it maintains the bone health there. Now our next vitamin which is involved in bone formation is vitamin C. So vitamin C, it's an ascorbic acid and vitamin C is needed for hydroxylation of procollagen molecules by because vitamin C is needed by proleyl hydroxylase enzyme, proleyl hydroxylase and lysyl hydroxylase. So both proleyl hydroxylase and lysyl hydroxylase, these are the enzymes which are located in the rough and lumen of rough endoplasmic reticulum and they are participating in hydroxylation of proline into hydroxyproline and lysine into hydroxylysine. By increasing hydroxyl containing amino acids, so there will be increase in hydrogen bond formation in procollagen molecules, thereby hydrogen bonds, they stabilize the triple helical structure of a collagen molecule. That's why we need vitamin C there. Now our third vitamin which is involved in bone formation or in maintaining the bone health is vitamin K. So there are two forms of vitamin K that is vitamin K1 which is phylloquinone and vitamin K2 which is menoquinone. Now vitamin K's main role in our body that has been classically studied and given in most of the textbooks and that is their role in blood coagulation process. But recent research have indicated that vitamin K's role doesn't really stop at coagulation process. Vitamin K plays an important role in bone health. Especially vitamin K, it is needed for activating a protein called osteocalcin. Note that this osteocalcin protein, osteocalcin is a protein which is synthesized by osteoblast. Osteoblasts will synthesize osteocalcin. Now this osteocalcin activity, it depends on gamma carboxylation of its glutamate residues gamma carboxylation process, gamma carboxylation of glutamate, amino acid glutamate present in osteocalcin protein. So we simply call it as GLA. That is gamma carboxylation of glutamate residues present in osteocalcin. So the gamma carboxylation of osteocalcin, it activates osteocalcin activity and osteocalcin by interacting with hydroxyapatite crystals in a bone, so it helps in binding of calcium. Because gamma carboxylation of glutamate residues, so it leads to additional carboxyl group in a glutamate, amino acid glutamate, which is already acidic amino acid. It takes up one more carboxyl group there in the side chain, gamma, carbox, gamma carbon, thereby extra negative charges are available and this negative charge here, so it's going to bind with calcium ions. So it means 
carboxylated osteocalcin. It enhances absorb binding of calcium to hydroxyapatite crystals, thereby it helps in bone formation. So note that around 30% of osteocalcin, it is there in the blood itself. And also the gamma carboxylation of osteocalcin, it is an indicator, indication of bone turnover in our body. If there is sufficient vitamin K available in the blood, so vitamin, so during that time, gamma carboxylated osteocalcin concentration will be sufficient. Now, uncarboxylated osteocalcin molecule, they are indicative of vitamin K deficiency. It means they are indicative of decreased bone density. Now the bone density is because of sufficient activity of osteocalcin and that is dependent on sufficient availability of vitamin K. Note that vitamin K although it has got um, function in coagulation so whenever vitamin K levels are just sufficient so during that time their priority vitamin K priority is coagulation. Whenever vitamin K levels are much more avail available or abundantly available during that time, it is participating in gamma carboxylation of glutamates present in osteocalcin molecule, thereby it increases bone density. So carboxylated osteocalcin indicates abundant available availability of vitamin K, thereby increase in bone density so it correlates with the bone density so carboxylated osteocalcin correlates positively with the increased bone density whenever you find more of uncarboxylated osteocalcin so this uncarboxylated uncarboxylated osteocalcin it indicates bone demineralization process Uncarboxylated osteocalcin. It may it is positively it indicates decrease in bone density. So carboxylated osteocalcin it is positively indicative of increase in bone density, whereas uncarboxylated osteocalcin that is seen in vitamin K deficiency, so indicates it is there is a decrease in bone density. That's one of the most important function of vitamin K in bone health. Another function of vitamin K is it is involved in activation of one another protein called protein S. The role of this protein S is involved in bone, bone calcification process. And also the role of vitamin K is being noted in matrix glab proteins. Basically these matrix glab proteins these are involved in vasculature or blood vessel formation. So osteo gamma carboxylation of matrix glab proteins so they this indicate to of basically they decrease atherosclerosis process. Atherosclerosis process by decreasing calcification in the blood vessels. And also vitamin K e, uh, has been noted in maximal neuronal function and they have been indicated in deficiency of vitamin K has been indicated in Alzheimer's disease. So these are some of the special functions of vitamin K apart from the main function that we always study and that is activation of coagulation factors 2, 7, 9, 10. Apart from that, so the vitamin K function here is it is involved in an important function in bone calcification process that is osteocalcin activation. It is involved in activation of protein S. It is involved in activation of matrix glab protein which is helpful in preventing atherosclerosis. So there are three pro and, uh, vitamins which are involved in bone health. So two of them are fat soluble and that is vitamin D and vitamin K and one is water soluble and that is ascorbate. I hope this short video helped you to broaden the understanding of role of vitamins in bone health. Thanks for watching. See you again in my next video. Take care.